All right, welcome to Runaway. And this is where we're going to pick up a little bit of speed and start to do some running animations. Now, a run is almost like a walk, like we've already done before, um, except it's a little bit different. It still has the uh, extremes and the breakdowns, but in a walk, one foot is always on the ground. Whereas, uh, you know, in a run, both feet are going to be off the ground um, at some point in time. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with a typical bland run. Uh, this is just a you know a normal kind of sort of a run, um, and these are the two extremes. And in the middle here, you have the breakdown position. But to really get the run to work, you need to add in a few more poses as well. Um, so first of all, there is the uh, down pose here, where he's just hit the ground, and then there's the uh, up, where uh, his both feet are off the ground. I'll just separate them out a little bit so you can um, get a feel for the different stages in a run. And here's a little video with a, just a very simple running animation that just uh, you know shows uh, those different poses in motion. All right, but of course, um, this walk is just, you know, very basic uh, and not very special. Um, so I've just made a variation here uh, where he's, you know, really running very fast. And I've sped it up. And also, uh, as a general rule of thumb, uh, the faster the character runs, uh, you'll have less up and down because otherwise the eye has nothing to focus on and it becomes completely unreadable. All right, so this is just, you know, very few frames very quickly. And now we're going to do uh, a walkthrough where I'm going to show you how to build uh, a basic walk. All right, I've imported our biped character and I've already uh, posed the character in the extreme uh, pose. And first we'll insert a keyframe for all the bones. And then uh, we'll move forward in time a little bit. Uh, we'll make this run happen on uh, sixes. That is that, um, you know, it loops uh, every six uh, frames. So we'll copy this pose and paste it on frame six in a mirrored version and then go to frame 12 and paste it uh, using the normal paste uh, function where, uh, which means that it will, it will go uh, back and forth. And right now it looks really strange because there's no breakdown. It just goes from one extreme to another. And so the feet don't sort of um, run, they just sort of just slide back and forth. It looks really strange. All right, so now we're going to the middle here and we're going to add the uh, breakdown pose. So we'll make sure that the foot is on the ground. I'm also lifting him up just a just a little bit. All right, and here I've uh, inserted keyframes. I'm copying and pasting it mirrored. Uh, and now you can see it already looks a lot better with the, uh, with the breakdown pose in the middle. You can already sort of uh, follow the run uh, and uh, it looks okay, but to really make it, you know, 
to sell it as a run, you really need to add a few more things in. So first we'll add the down. As soon as he hits the ground, uh, the body uh, goes down. And we'll make the foot flat and just, you know, um, uh, we'll keyframe that, uh, paste it uh, in the uh, mirrored version over here, right? All right, and then uh, we're going to sort out the uh, up position uh, where he's uh, just about to, you know, leave the ground and just uh, improve that a little bit to make it um, to make it, you know, feel more like a run. And again, we'll copy that pose. And paste it over on the uh, the other side over here. All right, and then there's the pose where he's really off the ground, you know, taking his leap. Just gonna take the uh, the foot up here as well. Again copy the all the bones positions and paste them on the other side just again adjusting the feet putting them back uh, further as he leaps from the ground All right, and already uh, with you know very quickly, uh, we've built a walk cycle. Uh, sorry, a run cycle um, that that already really works. And you can see just how easy and quickly you can do this. And again. You know, I've adjusted uh, I've adjusted this pose, and uh, we can paste it on the other side, um, just to make sure the up and down uh, is as natural as it uh, as it can be. You know, also again, um, once you're happy with the run, you can sort of scale all the keyframes to make it you know a little bit slower. So, say you thought this was a little bit too fast, I will scale it out a little bit. Um, this is maybe a little slow, but uh, you get the idea. And that should help you get started with uh, running animations in Blender.